its elegance and majesty with a contemporary twist. This is architecture that screams out, gee, no, you no, made no, it. No, 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 Dan, thank you very much, but that's not exactly how you do a top filling link. Step aside, let me show you. And a warm welcome to Top Billing. Now, this glorious villa is perched between heaven and the ocean, and this is where I'm going to meet my man from heaven, Dan Nickel. And then you have to swan down. <laughs> <laughs> I clearly have work to do. I'm not the new Michael Mole, <laughs> but I am very happy because together with Joanne Strauss, we're at Element House, and we're going to indulge in what is, judging my Instagram, your greatest passion at the moment, the world of art. It is my developing passion. I mean, if there's one place which really started that passion. I spent my 40th birthday party here, or my 40th birthday here. So that's that's been part of my new year of new horizons, and art is a big part of that. Well, there are a few better places to visit art, to explore art, to engage with art than Element House, and a few better people to do it than the host of Top Billing many years ago when it was still running. Uh, so together with the director of art here at Element House, we're going to go to explore what is one of the finest collections in South Africa. Now, one of the great things about Joanne Strauss is that when she won Miss South Africa in 1982, she invested all of the money. And as a result, she's now got millions, literally, to spend on art for this brand new 19-story home that if you've been watching Instagram, she's busy building. So we're gonna have a look at the art, see if there are any particular artists to catch her eye, but we need to do so with some expert advice. And that expert is Talita. And you've got a really cool job here at Element House because you curate, look after, uh, kind of keep an eye over all of the art here. Yes, so I am basically appointed as an in-house art consultant. So we know um, from experience that guests that like to stay at Element House also collect art. So they've appointed me to kind of facilitate that process. So I work as I work with the collection. I do specialist tours of the collection, but I also work as a consultant for guests. You have in the owner of Element House, Paul Harris, somebody who's absolutely mad about art and wonderfully so. And he spent so much time investing in it and believing in South African art and artists. Give us a very broad overview of the kind of art that Element House has. So Element House is very particular because it it's probably one of the most representational private South African art collections. It spans from 1820 up to contemporary, so you have a beautiful overview of South African art history just here at Element House. Um, so it's quite broad, you know, it's, there's actually quite a lot of everything. It's not just one specific time or style, it's, it's really quite, it, um, yeah, it, it really represents South African art um, in, its whole, in its entirety. And it means that although Element House in theory is a boutique hotel, for me it's actually an art gallery as much as it is somewhere to stay and I can't wait to get stuck in. So Talita and I are going to go inside, find Joanne who's probably trying to remove some paintings off the wall already and go and have a look at the collection that calls Element House home. Um, the, the rest of the passage is all, the, all paintings by Thomas Bowler. Does it, uh, does it resonate with you? You know, there's so much detail, and like she said, he was ahead of his time using resin. I might, I mean, I might be able to fit it in my handbag, but I think let's continue our search. As to abstraction, mm -hmm. a lot of our artists were part of those art movements. Um, as, as a South African, if I had to have a piece of art, that would be the one I'd spend my money on. painting, he decided to submit two artworks. Crowd. He went on to exile in London. Uh, no, his story is amazing. Yeah, amazing artist. Uh, jo, I know you love the art, and most of it, sadly, for both of us, is way out of reach. But if, if there's one piece, you could slip into one of your vast collection of designer handbags <laughs> and uh, walk out the front door with Melaman House, what would it be? I think if I had to choose one piece, I would probably take, and I know this is a little bit predictable, but I'd have to have a Pena, just because he was one of the first great South African, well, I mean, he pretty much put South African art on the map. And then, of course, I would like the Sokoto in front. Oh, it's 
fabulous choice, one striking South African choosing another. But choose for yourself, because if you get the chance, it's a wonderful gallery to explore and to just get a real sense of how amongst the many, many treasures and triumphs that South Africa can lay claim to, art sits right up there with the best of them.